G'day everyone, my name's Cautious Pancake, and have you ever got bored with the same old fetch, clear, and buried treasure quests that the traders hand out over and over? Well, today, I want to show you and get your feedback on my first attempt at a new quest mod that I've been working on. I'm just starting out in my attempts to learn modding, so please temper your expectations. Kane or Subquake, I am not. The goal of this excursion into modding is to learn a little bit more about how 7 days works, and hopefully to produce something useful and fun out the other end. Ideally, I want to make a small series of quest modlets that could eventually be released together as a mod, if this sort of thing tickles your fancy. The quests are intended to be longer and harder than the default quests, as I believe the current quests offered provide more reward than risk, so I want to increase the difficulty and also at the same time require a larger time investment so that it's not possible to spam quests and smash through to near endgame loot in a week. Anyway, that's the theory, let's rip through the opening and get over to the trader. Okay, so I've just created a small chest, dumped off all my junk. Let's head inside and see if the gods of RNG are with us, and we can get one of the new quests. Howdy. And not there, there, there we go. Rescue mission. For you, As you can see, one of the operatives that works for the trader has gotten hurt and is holed up in the popping pills, so no let's head on over there and see if we can rescue them. I tell you what though, these couriers that the traders hire, given how often they leave their satchels for us to go and find in fetch quests, and now we have to go rescue them as well, they really need to start hiring better couriers. Now while we're on the way over, we're probably going to need a little bit of wood. Given that the quest has told us that there's a horde of zombies on the way, we might just need a few blocks for some defences. Okay, coming up on the poppin' pills. Okay, just wait for our stamina to come back, and then we'll kick this off. Straight away you can see that the first phase of the quest is a five minute timer. So let's go in and use some of this time just to clear out some of the zombies. <laughs> That should be most of the zombies downstairs. We've still got a little bit of time left, so we might just quickly grab some food. That'll help with our health situation. And some of these will have first aid supplies in them, so let's quickly grab as much as we can from whatever looks promising. Might just eat the blueberry pie. Gives a little bit of health back. Ooh, first aid bandage, that's going to come in handy. That's all a bit rubbish. That could help us if we get a bit more. All right, let's just make sure we don't get encumbered as well. So make it water, nothing too useful there. Running out of time, we're about halfway through. Oh, there's someone. Give them an Achilles shot. And just because we're running out of time, I'm not going to stop and loot that. Even though it's probably got some good first aid in there. Hopefully not need too much. And we just need to finish taking care of any zombies because we don't want any extras once this horde shows up. Grab the loot while we're here though. Got no ammo for the shotgun but we'll take it. Grab our arrows back and we've got two minutes left. Now we could, I'm kind of thinking that we want to defend from up on the roof here create a bit of a path up and maybe these low spots are a good spot to put bricks but I don't think we've got time to level it out 
So maybe instead, maybe instead we should use somewhere that's got a full block and we can build. I made some frames on the run over, so let's just start popping these up. Give us a platform to work from. And a little step up. Then we just need to create a little bit of a path for them here. Assuming I can line this up right, we'll grab our we'll grab a pole side centered block and try and rotate that around. And then we just gotta place it, but we've messed that up. Alright, we've got a minute to go. We've got no base and no path, so we're certainly gonna run out of time, I think, on this, but let's just smash something together with some wood frames. Just throw it together roughly like this. Create a bit of a staircase. I was going to do a ramp, but I don't think we've got time for that. We'll just throw them down. They can climb up like this. Just need to get it up to the right level. Two more. There we go. Which means we just need to extend this a bit further. 20 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Mess that up and we're out of wood frames. That's not so good. Give a couple of these an upgrade so that the zombies don't hit on them too much. And we're out of time. And we've got a whole bunch of zombies inbound. Okay, that's finished. Let's make some more wood frames. We'll see if we can get them up or see if we can kill a few zombies before they get to us too badly. Oh, no, this is not a good idea. Not a good idea. No. Let's get them all back down so that now that those wood frames are finished, we'll grab the pole doubles so that we can put them up once we're upstairs. I was gonna do the rotation, but we've run out of time. So let's head back up. See if we can get these in place just to hold the zombies up for a bit. Like that. And quickly grab the other ones that I use. There they go. Nope, out of time. Ow. Ow. Stop standing so close. Right, let's just dance up here for a little bit. They're a little bit spread out from going up the box, so that might give us enough time to get a few good hits in and a bleed. There we go. Four down. Let's just put these down while we've got a bit of a lull and get some upgrades happening. They'll still get over the top, I know, but hopefully that'll hold them up just for a little bit. Oi, where do you come from? Two up here now. Use that. As a slow them down. Oh, missed. Ah, another stamina. Oh, I think a bleed took care of that one. That's good. And that one. Here we go. That's going to take some doing now. Given the ow health points they've got. Down to two bandages. So we're just going to have to kite these guys around for a little bit. Big guy to go. Ow. One more coming in over here. Let's just make these a make sure these are in tip top shape. And the bleed's finally taking care of him. Alright, we we'll probably can we get something on top? No, run out of time. No one behind us. 
He's lost an arm. Oh, now there is someone behind us. Ah, oh, that's where they're coming up. Forgot about the back ladder. Not so good. I don't know that we'll have time to destroy this. No, we won't. Ow. Quick. Ah, got the hits in. Okay. Right, 12 down. We're about halfway. And we've used up nearly all of our bandages. <laughs> and we've got half health. So we need to do a little better from here. Oh, here we go. Ow. That wasn't so good. Keep that shut from now on, I think. Unless we want to let up a zombie. One here. Oh, here she comes. Oh. Out of bandages now, which isn't ideal, but let's just quickly check if we've got a skill point left. And no, not doing quest. Let's put it into healing factor. Not something I'd normally take early game, but I think we're going to need it. <laughs> right, so one of the tricks to this quest is that whenever you kill one of the zombies, another one should be spawned to take its place. But not only that, they'll actually be enraged a little bit and get a little bit faster, which is what I'm gonna blame is one of the reasons why I keep getting hit by them is that their speed changes. It's probably actually just that I suck, but you know, I'll take what I can get as excuses go. But it is something to be aware of that in this quest at this point anyway, every time a new zombie spawns, all of the zombies within range will be sped up just a little bit for a couple of reasons. One, to, I think it makes it a little bit more challenging. And second is for those that spawn a little bit further away, particularly in the early game, they're a little bit slow and it can take a while to get to you. So they get a little bit of a speed boost to cover that distance and get within range so that you can start fighting them. You can hear someone's a little bit stuck downstairs. It will be an important part of doing this quest to make sure that the zombies do have a quick and clear path to get to you. Otherwise it can take a little while. We might have to go adventuring in a little bit to go find them if they don't catch up to us. Oh, here's me. Oh. Not sure what happened there. You can just see in the background there, as the new zombie spawned in, we can get a couple of shots in. And then hopefully he will come straight over and up the ladder. Oh, there he is. Okay, two to go. Yeah, it's the speed boost. As she comes running in quickly. I think it's about a 10 second speed boost that they get. Ow. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Okay, one more. Oh, and there's another one. Still on his speed boost. Ow. Okay, we got it done. I'm not going to hang around and clear out the rest, I don't think, given that we've got 13 health left. That's probably not the wise move. So let's jump over here and we'll head back to the trader. So that's the broad strokes of the quest, but it needs probably a little bit of improvement in a few areas. Ideally, there would be an NPC injured courier waiting at the POI that could be defended or rescued. That's a little bit beyond my capabilities at the moment, and I'm not sure how to work that in with a POI that's full of zombies after the reset. 
but thematically that would be a good addition, but it's optional for now. Second enhancement that this could use is having the consistent set of zombies. As you've seen through the playthrough, while there was a good set of five zombies attacking all at once at the beginning, this is supposed to continue throughout the quest phase that requires killing 25 zombies, but it just doesn't quite work right at the moment. Despite me attempting this four or five different ways, it just doesn't want to stay with five zombies alive the whole time. In this particular playthrough, I think the bleeds aren't helping, but overall that's just likely my inexperience more than anything else. Eventually, this should have constant pressure of five zombies always alive for tier one, with more zombies always alive in the later tiers. Speaking of the other tiers, that's the third improvement. Currently only one tier exists, but it should be fairly easy to translate it over to the later tiers, which I have them planned out, but not implemented until tier one works better. Finally, the last pass is to look at balance, and I could really use your help here. I've added a series of four polls linked in the description below that I could really use your thoughts on to look at the balance, difficulty, and reward for this quest. So after you've hit the like button for this video, I would be super grateful if you could head over to them next and pop in your answers to flag how you think this quest should work. As always though, thanks for watching and happy building.